you look at the bike, the chain actually passes through the frame itself. So it goes through this triangle of the frame. So you can't take the chain off without actually breaking it. This is a tool called a chain breaker. Basically, there's a little pin here that pushes the pin out of the chain. So what I'll do is I'll just unwind it a little bit. There's two little tangs that go around the chain. And then this back here supports it. So when we push down, it's going to push the pin all the way through. So what we do is tighten this slowly. It'll be tight to start with. A bit of pressure is required. And then it'll ease up. All of a sudden, it starts moving through. And then you do it a certain way, and you can see the pin coming out of the back of that. You don't want to push it all the way out. If you push it all the way through, it's almost impossible to get them back in. And then you unwind the screw to see if it'll come apart. It doesn't, so I need to go a little bit more. It's OK if you need to have a couple of goes at this. It's not the end of the world. Out it comes. You'll notice that the pin is not fully out. There's a very little bit of it just showing through. And that's important when you go to put it back together, then you can pop it in and it locates itself. So it actually sort of holds it in place. That little bit sticking out is important. And when you go to put it back on the bike, it's just the reverse process. So you unwind the pin far enough and then you'll push the pin back in. And you need to make sure that it's sitting in nicely, otherwise you'll bend this pin. The pins are a little bit fragile. When you buy a new bike, then generally the chain is completely riveted. It's cheaper for them to supply the bikes that way. So let's say that you want to put a split link in. What you would do is you would push that pin all the way out. So having taken one of the pins out completely, we're going to take out the second pin. Now you'll notice the way this is constructed is that there's two plates on the inside and there's two plates on the outside. So they alternate from inside and outside, inside and outside. So what we want to end up with is the outside plates gone because the split link will replace those two outside plates. So I'm now going to push out this other pin. Same sort of deal where I push that in like so. Make sure it's nice and snug. Spin the tool in until it's on the pin. A little bit of pressure to start with and then it eases up. And you can see it's easier to turn. Push the pin all the way out. And then out we come. We'll just let gravity look after that. Um, so we now have a pair of inner plates and the roller that is sitting there. So this is a card of split links. They have a pin on each side. All bike shops will have these. You do need to be aware of what speed bike you're working on because the width of the chain varies between the bikes. So what happens is that one link goes into one side and the other link goes in with that pin inside. And the pin goes through the keyhole and then you pull them apart and it locks into place. I'll show you how that works on this bike itself. This one has a split link in it, and you can see the little keyhole there. And basically what you need to do is, is push the links together so that those keyholes line up and then it'll pop apart. Now you can either do that with a pair of pointy nose pliers, long nose pliers, and you can put them in there and you can give a bit of a squeeze. They tend to jump out a little bit. There is a specific tool that you can buy, this one and that's a link splitter and a link joiner in one. You use these two to split it, so you're going to squeeze it together, or you use these two to spread it. So we're going to use the pair that squeeze together because we want to squeeze those links together. And you'll notice that these arms are curved and that's to hold those rollers. Bring it in, push it up underneath, hold it down with the finger and pop it together and you hear the little click, and then the, the link comes apart. As simple as that, and I'll put it back together to show you that now. I'll put one side in there, one side in there. 
It's a very simple process, very quick. So it's worth spending a few dollars on, on buying a link. If you're going to service your own chain, it'll save you time. Push that in through the keyhole. If you don't have this particular tool, you can sort of pull the chain with your hands. This tool is obviously the better one, and we're going to use the two tangs that spread apart. Put that into the chain, either from above or below, and just make it spread. And again, you hear it click as it goes into place. So that's how you, you break and unbreak your chain. So I'll go through that again, where I'll actually break it now by bringing these two up. Squeeze them together, hear the click, and it comes apart. And I can just pull the chain through and it should work its way through the bike and through the front derailleur.